yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Let me ask y'all a question. Do you guys ever rage quit something in real life? Because I just did. I was trying to do the tile. I got it all taken out and I was getting ready to lay the new tile down and just kept running into problems after problems. The mosaic tile, I just couldn't get it to stay even with the other tile. I had to put a bunch of cement down to try getting it level. And I'm like, you know what? I just can't do this. It's going to take me weeks to try getting it perfect. And by the time it was done, it wouldn't be perfect. So I'm like, let me call some people. Let's see if I can get someone to come out here and do the tile for me. All the places I called, they're like, yeah, no, bad idea. Don't do that. It's going to look like shit, yada, yada, yada. So I rage quit. It. I went, I returned the tile to Home Depot and something that I thought was going to be an easy job to do is not so easy. So with that being said, I think my next plan for that room is I'm going to either take out all of the tile and put hardwood flooring down, or I'm going to get like a cement filler, make it level with the tile and then just put like hardwood or laminate or vinyl flooring over top of it. So I got to do a little bit of research and see what color flooring I'm going to go with. Hopefully something that'll go with the rest of the house. It is going to be weird to me to have one room vinyl floored and then the rest be tile but we'll figure something out at this point i kind of just need to get something done so that way i could start moving all of my stuff down here and get it out of the way so that's how my day is going so far pretty stressful i mean i'm sure you guys can relate when you plan on doing something you think it's going to go one way and it just goes the complete opposite but i'm getting ready to head back up to my apartment i do need to finish packing also uh i think something died in my garage i don't know if it's in the wall i moved all the boxes and stuff to try seeing if i could find like a dead animal can't find any Anything, but it smells rancid. It smells so bad. I just put a Glade air freshener out there. I sprayed some Febreze. I've been having it air out the past two days and the smell is just still so strong. So hopefully, close this garage door right now. Hopefully that Glade that I put in there will help out a little bit. I'm just hoping by time the next time I come down to this house, it does not smell as bad as it does right now. Like I said, I looked everywhere, couldn't find a dead animal. So I don't know if it's like in the wall or what. I, I don't know why it smells so bad in there. I hope you guys are having a good day today. And if not, hopefully Hopefully this vlog will make it a little bit better. Make sure you check out the last vlog too, by the way. I am selling Porky, so if anybody would like to purchase her, let me know. So last night, you know what I did? I bought a 1.75 liter bottle of Tito's. Why? Because I had to do my taxes. Drink a lot. Bottle is, uh... Yeah. So today we got a few things going on. I need to head off to the DMV. I'm going to be picking up the title with the Cadillac because it was like filed electronically. Um, so I never actually had the title in hand. It was always at the DMV. And I also need to swap out the battery again and stop letting the Cadillac sit. But hopefully my buddy Adrian's going to be buying the Cadillac from me. I'm going to give him a really, really, really good deal on it. His Silverado went kaboom. I don't know if I told you guys about that. He did blow the motor. It's tough. So that's what we got going on today. I also need to go pick up up some antibiotics from Walmart because they filled my prescription down in Port Charlotte. I forgot to pick it up. So then I had them fill it up up here. So that way I didn't have to drive all the way back down there. But I guess when you get a puncture wound, they want to put you on antibiotics. So that way it doesn't get infected or anything like that. That's what we got planned today. Hopefully everything goes smooth. Once I get the new battery, probably going to get the Cadillac detailed and all cleaned up as well. I always forget that I need to make an appointment when I come to this DMV, the tax collector over here. Fortunately, they actually have an appointment available in an hour so i booked that in the meantime i'm going to head off to autozone and pick up the new battery pretty funny i actually walked into the tax collector and i don't know if you guys know who cletus mcfarland is but he was in there doing some sort of registration for some vehicles whatever it may be pretty cool to see him around but uh let's head off to autozone swap out this battery and hopefully make it back in time for my appointment at three i got about an hour Alrighty, got the new battery well i kind of just waited at the dmv for nothing i guess the lean is still on the car or the tire I bought the car like two years ago from a friend's shop. They were able to help me out. I had really bad credit at the time. I was just going through some stuff financially. I was at a very, very low point in my life. So the car was just recently paid off. And I guess the systems like haven't communicated that the lien or the title has actually been released yet. So she gave me a website. I have to check on it, keep an eye on it. And as soon as it does get released, then I can make another appointment here and come down and pick it up. In the meantime, at least we got the battery. We'll get the thing running, get it cleaned up, get it ready to be sold. And we'll go from there we swapped out the battery for the Cadillac did not fix the issues obviously because the battery was being drained by something else going wrong with the car that's why I've had to replace it a couple times already basically what's going on is I'm almost like 90% positive that the body control module on the Cadillac is toast and there's also you know a few other issues with it the sunroof leaks it's got no radio the catalytic converters are bad the car is really not worth much it's not worth much at all and rather than spending $400 
replacing the body control module on a car that is not even worth $400. I think Kelly Blue Book says the Cadillac's worth $550, if I remember correctly. It's not more than $600. Rather than even having to deal with it, we're gonna send it off to its final resting place. It's gonna go to the junkyard. I'm the type of person, when I go to do something, I'm also doing a million other things at once. I never fully can focus on just one thing. I'm always trying to do a million things. Today, I'm locking in. I need to start prioritizing. The move-in date is getting closer and closer, and I still have so much. I, well, I feel like I still have so much to do, including getting the floor done. So today, I'm locking in. Getting that floor done is my main priority. I'm going to head off to the flooring store now, pick up the flooring. I'm also going to have to head to Home Depot. I'm going to get some leveling underlayment and just get all the stuff that I need to get this room done. So I came over to the flooring store, right? I found a floor that I really, really liked. It wasn't a bad deal. The pricing wasn't too crazy. Of course, the one that I really like that's going to look the best is out of stock and I wouldn't be able to get it for like six weeks. And I need this done before I move in on the 22nd. So I was just doing a little bit more research. I looked at Lowe's and they have some similar colors and it's also a little bit cheaper as well. I'm going to drive down to Lowe's right now, the Lowe's in Port Charlotte. We got about an hour and five minute drive. Check out some of the stuff they have there, match it up with the tile, see what's going to look the best, and hopefully be able to get some flooring today. I'll tell you, man, I can't help but laugh. I'm batting a thousand right now. Drove all the way down to Port Charlotte, realized I forgot my wallet. This is the second time I've come down here and forgot my wallet. With most places, it's not an issue because most places, like food places and stuff like that, you can use Apple Pay. Home Depot and Lowe's does not accept Apple Pay. So I was like, all right, I'll order what I need online. But they're saying pickup's not available until tomorrow, even though everything that I need is in stock right now because I was just in Lowe's looking to get what I needed. So Andrew is going to help me out. Once Andrew gets out of work, he's going to meet me at Lowe's. He's going to buy the stuff that I need and then I'm just going to Apple pay him. To take some stress off, I am going to go do a little bit of fishing and hopefully I have no mishaps, no getting a lure stuck in my finger again and see if we can't catch anything until Andrew gets out of work. You know, I don't really like to complain on the videos and stuff like that, but God damn, am I stressed out with everything that I got going on right now. Moving King sucks and I've done it so many times and it never gets any easier. I was only about two minutes from the spot where I caught that monster bass, also caught that alligator gar and caught myself coming over here gonna test this spot out first because I've I've actually had some pretty good luck here so far minus the fact that I got a hook stuck in my finger. See if we can't catch anything. No luck at the last spot. The next spot we're hidden I actually came here with my mom. Caution alligator habitat. Okay this is where my mom saw the cotton mouth and started freaking out. Come try over here. I did did end up catching one or two fish here the last time we were here. Sun is setting. Got the whopper plopper. I'm going to do a little bit of top water. See if we can't land some nice bass while we're here. First catch. Baby. Little baby largemouth. Dude, I don't know what it is with these raccoons. I don't know if you guys can see them. Oh, you could definitely see them. What are you doing, bro? I've been seeing so many raccoons lately. All right. So I didn't put my camera battery in my camera. So I'm recording on my phone right now. Day two of kind of working on the floor yesterday. I forgot my wallet. As I told you guys, I picked up some men to level out the floor. It wasn't enough. So last night at like two in the morning, I just ended up driving back to the apartment to get my wallet, stayed the night at the apartment, came back down here this morning, went to Lowe's, got some more leveling cement. So I'll show you guys what it's looking like. This is the side that I did last night. There's a few spots right here where some of the cement had dried. I was having to mix it by hand. I didn't have a mixer. So while I was mixing it by hand, it dried. So it's a little uneven right here. Uh, I have a sander that I'm just going to go over that and make it so it's perfectly flat. But overall, it didn't come out too bad. I just poured this side over here a little bit ago this is all leveling out right now so it's probably gonna take i don't know maybe like six six to eight hours for this to dry technically you're not supposed to put flooring on it for 24 hours but if it's dry enough for me to step on it's dry enough for me to lay flooring down because it is only about an eighth of an inch thick maybe a quarter inch thick but came out pretty well i gotta clean up this mess i have to run over to home depot real quick and return a tool that i bought the other day that i'm not going to use but let me show you guys the flooring that i got for that room it is a little bit darker it does have some light gray tones in it that'll match the wall but not only that it also has some brown tones in it that'll blend really well with the tile i think overall once i get it all laid down in that room it's gonna look really well so like i said while the floor is drying i'm gonna head off to home depot really quick get that tool return that'll put like another 150 bucks back into my pocket and 
then I figured while the floor is drying, I might as well go out and try doing a little bit of fishing. It is really, really hot today. It's 91 degrees. So I'm not too sure how the fishing is gonna be. Generally, when it's really hot, the fish go deeper to the cooler water to regulate their body temperature. We'll see what happens. Let's head off to Home Depot and then uh, maybe check out some new fishing spots today that I haven't gone to down here yet. Came over to this one spot after Home Depot. I don't know how well I'll be able to get it on the camera, but there are four monster carp. I mean, I'm talking 35, 40 pounds just swimming around here. You can kind of see them on top of the water right there. Huge. Look at the look at the size of these things, dude. They're insane. And if you guys don't fish, here's a little tip for you. The fish look smaller in the water than they do out of the water. I wish I had something to catch them on, but I'm not much of a, uh, a carp fisherman. Had to take a little poop break. Came back out. Came to this little spillway over here. Caught this little largemouth. Caught them on a Texas rig with a watermelon colored culprit. 10 inch. Nice little catch. Caught them right in all this gunk. Another nice little largemouth. Some real small ones today i did lose a monster earlier i don't know what it was if it was a bass or what whatever it was big it took off i kept my line but it spit it out there we can go baby that is the fish that i'm talking about three and a half pounds let me get this fish back in the water let's hope i don't drop my phone in the water here and off he goes nice fish dude best catch of the day right there sheesh the last bass I caught probably could have swallowed this one. After a long night, and I mean a long night, I had to let the concrete dry. I let it dry till about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Started putting the flooring down. Andrew came over to help me out. And this is what the new floor looks like. Meshes really well with the tile. I'll need to get a separator here. I also think it looks good with the walls as well. The floor is a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be. I think once we get some light in the room, get some furniture in here, it's gonna look really, really good. Andrew and I are actually starting Starting our own flooring company. Two dumbasses and a floor. And this is it right here, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get trim. I still have to sand down this spackle and paint it. Get some caulk to fill in some of the gaps. And like I said, get the separator for right here. But other than that, this is the new floor. Definitely a lot easier than one, having to do tile and also having to rip the tile up. That leveling cement was a lifesaver. We are a little short though. We have one piece left and then there's just that thin strip on the back of the wall there that we'll have to fill in. Ruckus. All right, day three, working on the house. I had to come pick up some trim. Also had to pick up some transitional pieces to go from the tile to the flooring. Also from the flooring to the door because there is a little bit of a gap. So I'm gonna fix it with one of these vinyl molding kits. Had to buy a whole nother box of flooring even though I only needed four pieces. Got some caulk, some gack, and also got a saw to be able to cut these pieces. I do have some stuff on the ground keeping the trim up against the wall because I went ahead and used liquid nail. This type of material that I got, plus I didn't have a nail gun, it just made sense to use liquid nail. That's what I have up there right now. Basically what I'm gonna have to do is at some point tomorrow, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna do caulk around the top. So that way it creates like a really nice seal. And that way you won't be able to see the separation of the trim against the wall. But that's how it's looking so far. I got a transition for right here to cover that gap. I do have to figure out what I'm gonna do about this course right here because I f***ed that up a little bit. But all in all, it really isn't too bad. I'm liking the way it's coming out and I'm sure I'll figure out something for the little mishaps. So I know this vlog has been a little bit all over the place. Told you guys kind of until I get situated in the new house. This is how the vlogs are going to be sporadic, all over the place, bunch of different content in them. Right now I'm heading off to the supercharger. Drove home last night, burned quite a bit of batteries. I'm going to go charge up and then I'm going to be heading over to the shop today, getting Porky all cleaned up. There's like a car show in the races over at Bradenton Motorsports tonight, so I'm gonna be heading over there. Like I said, I got my new lens. We're gonna test that out, test out the tripod, get some races for you guys. I think Dalton might be racing. I think Bryce might be racing. I was thinking about racing, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet. I haven't fully decided. Because generally, whenever I race cars, something breaks. And right now, with everything that I have going on, the last thing I need is for something to break. It's excited to watch some races tonight and just chill with the boys. Let's go. We got Porky all cleaned up. I'm not too sure what happened over the past week. I don't know if you guys can see, I have these little blue ink spots all over the hood, all over the bumper right here by the headlight. There's just these blue ink spots everywhere. So I don't know if I like, if someone ran over a pen in front of me or what the hell happened, but there's ink all over the wrap, which kind of sucks. What's up, Dirty Dookie Dalton? That's your new nickname, Dirty Dookie Dalton, Triple D. You got the Triple D, I got the Triple Ds. 
We got an engine stand for the 6.0 motor for the BMW so we could start tearing this thing apart, get working on this. I've just been so overwhelmed with trying to get everything done with the house. Really haven't had time to get started on this, but this upcoming week I'll be moving into the new house and then after that I'll be able to lock in on the BMW, finally start getting this thing tore apart. Shop is looking crazy right now, but got the cars all cleaned up. We do need to take out Bryce's passenger seat and his rear seats, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna fully gut him for the track, right? Are we gonna take out his seats? To. He doesn't want to? Dalton's car is all cleaned up. Damn, bro, look at that bumper. What? Oh, hey, look at your wheel. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, they did. I didn't know he got the lift. Dude. Yeah. I they, thought he just got here. Where's yeah, the lift? don't ever fucking bring your uh, tires to Manny's tires. Damn, this lens is hella zoomed in. Sheesh. Just got the new lens on. This lens, I think, is actually going to be really, really good. We'll have to test it out and see how it goes. All right, here we go. Testing the new tripod setup. Got a Hellcat versus this 325 with what I'm assuming is probably LS swapped if I had to guess. Ooh, this footage is gonna be crispy. Okay, sure. What it is, that this thing is sick. So let's see what this thing can do. Oh, So I don't know how much of this I'm gonna record, but we'll get a few races in here for you guys. Clapping cheeks. There we go. Wow, these guys think they can. It's so hard to see the times because of the sun right now. Once it gets a little bit darker, it'll be a lot easier for you guys to see. And hopefully the audio is good. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. So if you're even just starting out with wanting to get into racing, it doesn't matter what car you're taking out the track. You're learning how to race. I'm sweating my balls off. Yeah. 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 I don't know if that's the one that shoots those 10 foot flames out of it or not. I wish this zoom was a little bit better, but you know what? It ain't too bad. All right, two crowd killers. Yeah, left lane, left lane walked on him top end. Jesus. Huh? Plaids can break 140. Yeah. My balls are very sweaty right now. Excuse me. Sir? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. This is our buddy David right here. With an up badge to SS. Look at those tracks he left. He was spinning. One thirty, not bad. This is your uncle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do not get in the staging lanes. You left some Elevens over there. All right, so we got Bryce. Oh. Here's tires out. Yep, we forgot. That's all right. We'll see what he runs. All right, let's go, Bryce. Last time he was trapped in between 118 to 120, so.
Or Joe has one. So I'm still trying to get a little familiar with this uh, this tripod, so I do apologize if it's a little shaky. GTR traps like 160. That's at one. Yeah, he traps like 160. Me? No. Oh, you're not to oh, he's still catching him. Taking him to Gap Louise. 154. Alright, All right, here we go. Bryce is up again. Gets a 370. See if he traps better than 122. He said he had traction control on. No surprise there. Support my racers. I gotta go left lane on this one. Yeah, you're smoking dope. interview uh any any comments give me the microphone it, it's right here oh. um you know, uh, you know I could, what I, could, I couldn't have done it without you know toby right here cody you know and uh, why'd you just call me i got, couldn't have done it with uh, toby jr toby jr toby oh. and then toby jr it's toby senior and it's toby jr <laughs> Got a little scared when he lost traction. 
reasons why he slowed down. We thought he might have broke something, but he just got a little nervous. So he's gonna run again right now. All right, let's go, sugar tits. up right now. Come on. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment. Make sure you guys have all notifications on so when I post a new video, you guys get updated. Also, do me a favor. Just make sure you guys are following me on all my social media. The links are always right down in the description. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.